Welcome to another video. In this problem, we're going to be finding the sum of all the coefficients of this polynomial after we expand what we have here. So we have this long polynomial raised to the fifth power. And if we do the multiplication, you expand everything, you're going to have a very, very long polynomial. And we're going to have to add all the coefficients together and see what the sum would be. But you know there's a trick to it because nobody expects you to multiply this polynomial by itself five times before you then start adding all the coefficients together. There's a very basic trick to it and as soon as I tell you, if you don't know already, you'll go, oh that makes a lot of sense because it always makes sense. Let's get into the video. So what exactly is the trick? Well, it's basically plugging in 1. Because when you plug in 1, the x, it's as if the x is not there. And whatever would happen to the coefficients when you raise everything to the fifth power is exactly what would happen after you expand it. And I'm going to use some simpler examples for you to see. So the answer to this problem, we can say generally, The sum of coefficients of p of x equals p of 1. That's it. Just plug in 1. So the answer to this question is what you get when you plug in 1. So we're going to plug in 1 and get our answer, and that's it. Okay, you can do that while I explain to those who might be having doubts about it. So let's, let's consider some very easy example. So for example, examples. Let's say I'm telling you that P of X is equal to, let's do um, 2X plus 1. And I say it is raised to the power 2. I just want to find what the sum of the coefficients are going to be after I expand this. Remember, if you square this, you're going to end up with, this is equal to, if you square this, you're going to get, if you, okay, let's write 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. So you end up with, let's write it here, this is going to be 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 1 times 1 is 1. So we end up with this 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. What is the sum of the coefficients? It's 4 plus 4 plus 1. That gives you 9, right? Well, you didn't have to do all this expansion. You could have just plugged in 1 here from the beginning. If you plug in 1, it's going to be P of 1 will be 2 plus 1 squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9, which is the sum of the coefficients here. So it does not matter what you do it stays like that. And that's how we're going to answer this question. Now, I'm not, I know I'm going to get comments saying, why didn't you prove it? Uh, that's not the purpose. It is in case you are doing a competition and you're asked to find this kind of solution, that's what you do. You just plug in one, you find the sum of coefficients, no matter what the exponent is. So, I think we should answer this question. <laughs> so let's do it here. So we know, we say therefore, P of 1 will be equal to just the digits. So it's going to be 13 minus 31 plus 5 plus 23 minus 12 raised to power 5. Well, that's going to be 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 23 is 41. 41 minus 31 is 10. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 raised to the power 5. And that's negative 32. And this is the sum of the coefficients when this is expanded 5 times. And this is the key. The sum of coefficients of a polynomial P of x is P of 1. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.